Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop out in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. Do you want to see a galaxy with a trillion stars? I know I do. I can't see it with my eyes, but with the aid of the telescope, you certainly can. Stick around, I'll show you how. If you like my videos, I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. I show a lot of astronomy and astrophotography videos, but I also like to show garden videos and occasionally weather videos. Which one do you like the most? Put your comments down below. Let me know. Well, this past week, it has been really cloudy and wet here in Savannah and in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. Did I say wet? Well, <laughs> that's an understatement. Let's say it was raining. Did I say just raining? It was heavy rains coming down across the region. We had several days of it. Five inches of rain last week fell in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. But by the end of the week, the sky had cleared and I modified the telescope to uh, make it from an F10 to an F7. And with that, I was pointing up to the northeastern sky uh, near the handle of the Big Dipper. And from there is a galaxy, a galaxy that contains a trillion or more stars, a huge galaxy, but it's hard to see. And to make matters worse, the moon was nearly full. When I put the uh, reducer on the telescope, it was important to rebalance the scope because if the scope's not balanced, it's not going to track properly and you'll get tracking errors and oblong stars instead of those nice sharp round stars. So rebalancing was very important. I changed the scope around and I put on the top the extender, the USB extender. From there I have four USB inputs and then the output comes all the way down into this extension cable over here and this then goes up into my computer uh, via, uh, via the USB extender on a CAT6 cable. So I was able to start recording and uh, during the nighttime hours I was, I was picking up my subframes. I didn't use any filters on the first night. The moon was bright but it was still a little bit further away, about a, almost a quarter of a sky uh, away from the galaxy. On the second night though the moon was closer and it was brighter, 95% illuminated moon and it gave off a lot of interference, lunar interference. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you some of the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, pictures uh, from those two nights and the difference between using uh, no flats and no darks and using darks and using flats in your calibration frames as well. One. All right, I'm upstairs right now with the computer. I want to show you some of the differences between uh, using light frames and uh, stacking light frames without any calibration frames. This right here is what you can see is a stacked uh, set of light frames and there's a lot of imperfections showing up uh, and some dust bunnies as well uh, scattered across the image and up in the upper right hand corner there you can see the lamp glow uh, from the camera itself. Now when I take the calibration blacks it still did not remove these dust bunnies or, or clean up the, uh, the uh, gradient here but it did remove most of that uh, lamp glow in the upper right hand corner and also along the top and along the bottom. So the flat frames are next. Adding 50 flat frames to the imagery, look how much difference that looks. There you have a much cleaner image. Uh, the dust bunnies are basically gone, the striations are gone and smoothed out. And there you can see the galaxy itself. Now, this is 22 light frames stacked with uh, uh, 24 dark frames and uh, uh, 50 light frames. Not, not, not light frames, flat frames. Now, let's look at the uh, stretched image. There you can see the galaxy itself. A trillion stars, hard to believe. Now, I wanted to get more information. This was 22 stacked frames of five minute exposures. What I wanted was additional uh, imagery from the uh, narrow band filter, the Altair quad band filter. So the next night I went out to do that and uh, this was the problem. The moon was nearly full. This was the night after that, the full moon. But uh, the night before, it was 95% illuminated uh, full moon, which greatly added interference to the picture itself. Now, here is the 22 
uh, stack five minute subframes with no filter with moderate lunar interference. It's a decent picture, you know, that's a good picture. However, I wanted to see what would the uh, uh, Altair quad band filter would do, and this is the uh, quad band uh, results with 36 stacked five minute pictures or three hours. And there you can see a lot more of the reds showing up uh, and more of the yellows uh, popping up, but more so the reds showing up because there's a lot of uh, H-alpha uh, data coming in. However, if you look on the outer perimeter, uh, there you can see the moon glow. Even with that filter, the moon glow was very, very high. So I, I need to try this again when the moon is out of the picture. But uh, here's the final picture of the combination of the two. Uh, this is the Northern Pinwell Galaxy, or Messier 101. And this galaxy, about 22, somewhere around 22 million light years away, contains over a trillion stars compared to our Milky Way galaxy that contains about, what, uh, 200, million, uh, 200 billion to 250 billion stars. This is a trillion stars in a galaxy far, far away. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, the galaxy to me is amazing. A trillion stars. Well, I'll be doing an update on the garden coming up pretty soon. The potatoes are shooting their little heads out of the ground. The Brussels sprouts, I know Brussels sprouts. Who likes Brussels sprouts? Well, if you uh, grow them fresh and then saute them in garlic and olive oil, you'll change your minds considerably. I'll show you more about that coming up uh, in a few days. And of course, the uh, harvest won't be until about two more months. At the end of May, I'll be harvesting potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and hopefully, uh, by early June, we'll be harvesting corn. All that's coming up on Heavenly Backyard Gardening, but you're watching Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.